There were lots of myths and misconceptions about carnivorous plants and I guess more so than any other horticultural grouping which to me seems grossly unfair because most of the, uh, the, the perceptions that people have about these plants can be blown out of the water pretty easily. Now the first main misconception we're going to cover is one that I hear all the time at the flower shows. People will look at the plants, admire them and say to each other, of course you can't grow them because they're all tropical. Well, of course, there are some carnivorous plants that are tropical. There are those found in, say, South, uh, Southeast Asian rainforests, hot climates like that, where, of course, yeah, they're going to need a, a higher temperature. But the majority of plants that you're likely to encounter, and certainly that a beginner is going to grow, are plants like the Venus flytrap, which is North American, uh, the, the Saracenia, the North American pitcher plants. A lot of the, uh, the sundew species are temperate, so therefore they require hot summers, cold winters. Now, what better morning than this to demonstrate this one? Um, it's mid-January, it's about minus two here in the nursery. Um, I'm surrounded by the Saracenias, these, these pitcher plants have, uh, have been prepped ready for the winter, they're now in their dormant phase, um, and they can quite happily take at least minus ten, and that includes the Venus flytrap and the cold hardy uh, drosseras as well, the sundews. So certainly not the tropical uh, stove house subjects that you'd be led to believe. 